Learning Cascader might seem a bit overwhelming initially. Whether you are an experienced animator or are entirely new to it, there is quite a lot to learn to effectively use the tools which make Cascader so special. In this video I've collected the best and most up-to-date resources to assist you on your journey mastering Cascader in 2024. Let's start with the obvious one, the official learning tutorials on Cascader's website. I know written tutorials aren't everyone's cup of tea, but trust me, these courses are the best if you want to learn the software. They have over 7 hours of content, where they cover everything from basic usage to rigging and using physics tools. Their courses are well structured, so I would recommend going through them in order, and if you are a complete beginner, there is even a dedicated 1 hour section breaking down the typical animation pipeline and how physics tools seamlessly fit into this pipeline. If you prefer more visual learning you can also find introductory videos as well as animation tutorials on the official Cascader YouTube channel. I will leave links for everything I talk about in this video in the description. If you would like to get started as fast as possible, I would recommend checking out Royal Sky's channel. Right now he's got just a couple of Cascader videos, but they cover all the essentials in the shortest time possible. He previously also covered different topics in animation, mainly focusing on creating game animations in Blender, but most things also apply for Cascader. If you prefer more in-depth, slower space videos, 3D CG Guru's channel is perfect for you. Especially his Cascader speedrun series, tailored mostly for people who are experienced with animation but would like to pick up Cascader. The third episode came out just recently about auto physics. I really loved it. It explains every settings, what they do, how it affects physics correction, secondary motion, and so on. Besides this series, there are other topics he covers with great details and he also made a free add-on for my users, so definitely worth following his work. Now this next channel takes a slightly different approach from the ones we've covered already. The creator showcases time-lapses of his animation process for his indie game. While there's no commentary, there's still a ton you can pick up from watching his videos. It's a unique perspective that might offer you insights in a different way. There are other YouTubers who covered Cascader, like Grant Abbott, Robino, Smith, Askenki, CG Matter. Their videos provide more of an overview of the software, sharing their take on Cascader. While it may not be as detailed as tutorials, it's always interesting to hear different perspectives and opinions. When it comes to paid courses, there is only one I found related to Cascader. It's organized by Animation School, and the mentor is a senior animator at Banzai games. Sounds good, right? The only problem is that it's in Russian. And it costs around 660 US dollars in total for the three months, where you will learn not only the software but professional pipeline for creating game animations. Now full transparency here, I'm not affiliated with the course in any way, and I haven't found any reviews or feedback so I can't help you decide if it's worth entering or not, assuming you speak Russian and are able to pay for it obviously. I'd also like to encourage you not to limit yourself to Cascada specific tutorials, you can learn about different workflows and pick up tips and tricks from various sources. To help you with that, here is a list of my favorite animation YouTube channels. I drop a link for each directing you to a video or a playlist that I believe will be the most valuable for you. And to finish up, I would recommend this channel. Here you can find a couple of videos covering different topics such as rigging, motion capture and some animation tutorials. This year my plan is to dive a bit deeper into Cascader's Python API and also finally get back into to improving my animation skills. But I'm also interested in what tutorials are you missing and what kind of series would you like to see. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I hope these resources help you get started on your way to learn Cascader. Good luck!